Warren, just what, what does this sort of camp do for you? What, what are you picking up uh, if you go through this? Thank you, just out here just trying to get better. You know, um, you can see it's pretty hard, these obstacles, and, um, you know, it's quick, and you got to make quick decisions and move your feet and put a puck in the area. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to be here and, you know, just trying to get better. What did you learn going through that experience uh, with the Hurricanes last year? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It's, uh, it was definitely a roller coaster year for myself, but as a team, um, you know, we have a great group of guys, and, you know, we're trying to build off uh, of the playoffs like we did this past season. Uh, Justin Williams, uh, we, we're not 100% sure what's going to happen. Are you, how close are you following uh, that, and how big a hole if he does, doesn't come back for you guys? Yeah, hoping he comes back. You know, he was a huge part to our team, and especially in the dressing room. And you know, for us young guys looking up to someone like him, and um, you know, he brings a lot to on the ice and off the ice. So hope he's back. Yeah. Or do you give him space? Are you texting him, trying to keep up with what he's up to? I think you just try to give him space. You know, you know, everyone's just trying to enjoy some time with their family and friends, and you know, now. We're picking up more on the ice right now and uh, you know we'll see why is he a good captain <laughs> he's a great captain because you know the leadership that he brings to to our dressing room and you know I think there's that calm and that poise that he brings and um, you know when you see someone win three Stanley Cups and you call him Mr. Game 7 I think you're going to listen to him uh, is the storm surge back next season I, I don't know if there's been any news on that of late I guess you have to wait and find out oh, yeah has there been any, have you been thinking about it at all? Like ideas for next year? Because you guys got through a bunch of good ones last year. Yeah, we did have a couple of good ones. And um, like I said, I guess you have to find out and see. I wanted to ask how you got the bat flip roll in one of my favorite ones. And certainly a lot of people in Toronto like that because of the, the bat flip nature. But how did you end up being the guy uh, taking Dougie Hamilton yard? Uh, you know, I think it was my turn maybe to, to come up with the idea. And just being from Toronto, you know, I thought it'd be uh, fitting to do... Uh, Joey Bats, and I think baseball spring camp was. Yeah, the pitchers and catchers. It, yeah, it was just starting, so uh, you know it was perfect timing for that. Where were you when the bat flip happened? I think I was in a dressing room watching it with a bunch of ho hockey guys a couple of years ago, yeah. just hanging out. How did you react? <laughs> I was going pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was a range of emotions because the top of the seventh didn't go so well. Like, do you remember vividly your emotional roller coaster that day watching that? Not vividly. I just remember the the exact bat flip, just how excited I was, and I can't can't imagine what the city was like here. Uh, you, you mentioned, uh, you know, just the storm surge. You don't know. You know, you're smiling. But how much did that do for you guys, and camaraderie wise, last year? Yeah, it was huge. It was a lot of fun. You know, you know, and our fans loved it. And um, you know, I think the whole thing we were trying to preach is have fun. And you know, this is a job that we that we're fortunate enough to play. But um, you know, you got to have fun. And I think that was a big key from it. What stands out to you about Tom Dundon? Tom Dundon? Yeah. Our owner? Yeah. Um, I don't know how much interaction you have with him, but uh, he seems like a personality, an interesting guy. Like, what, just, what's it like to play for him or see him around? or I don't know. What stands um, out when you think of him? Well, I'd say he really cares about his players. That's number one. Um, you know, he's, he's there uh, with his input, but I think he cares about all of us, and, you know, he wants us to win and succeed. And, um, you know, I think that's what you want from an owner. You want someone who believes in you and your team. And... Um, he's, he's shown a lot of support. When you say he cares about players, in what ways does that manifest itself? Like, what, how do you, how do you know that? Well, uh, just from talking it? from him, you know, yeah. you can tell in someone's eyes if they, you know, they care or, and stuff like that. But you know, he's been great for our team, and you know, making the, you know, rebranding this team, and you know, he's a huge part of the reason why we made the playoffs. And you know, like I said, we're hoping to build off that. What was your reaction when you heard about the Ajo's offer sheet? I'm glad he's bringing back. The, I'm bringing the heat here. <laughs> uh, you know, it's awesome to see that he's back. You know, um, he's a huge part of our team. He's our best player, and you know, I'm glad he's back for five more years. What makes him such an effective player? He maybe flies a bit under the radar uh, playing in Carolina, but what st stands out to you about him? You know, he's just so good at everything. You know, um, just so dynamic, so fast, so smart. Um, you know, he's our best player, and you want to give the puck to your best player. The, the offer sheet doesn't ruffle or rile any feathers? Like, you don't think there's any kind of uh, in reintegration type thing, no? No, I don't think so. You know, he's, uh, he's back with us, and, you know, we're excited to have our, one of our leaders back and to lead the way. What is it like being a hockey player in Raleigh? Because it's, you know, obviously, you know, in Toronto, it's a, a little bit different, I'm sure, in the coverage and whatnot. Just how would you describe what it's like to be a hockey player in Raleigh? You know, it's been a lot of fun, you know, just even going out to restaurants and stuff like that, people still notice you, and, you know, I think they... They respect your privacy, but at the same time, you know, they're not afraid to come say hi. And um, we're trying to rebrand, uh, you know, Rally. And you could tell this year, 
uh, how much engagement we had with the fans. And um, the playoffs was the loudest rink I played in mm -hmm. by, by a mile. So, you know, looking forward to that next year. Barbecue when you're out? Been to a couple of barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Good food. Yeah. You know, good food, good people. And, you know, I'm very fortunate to be there. Warren, thanks so much for your time. Thanks.